guys thanks for checking out the video you know i worked in a hobby shop for quite a few years i sold a lot of rc vehicles uh, trucks buggies planes boats helis you name it and um every time i sold something particularly trucks and cars and you know buggies um, people would say what's the first upgrade i should do and um i usually say you know i give them a, a couple ideas but i would also say that you know do that down the road get to know your vehicle and um you, there's always time to do upgrades and um that's just the advice I would give them. But in the case of the sledge, I would say day one, coming out of the gate, whether you buy your sledge at the local hobby shop or you order it online, um, one of the first things you want to do with the sledge is get a front bumper for it. And RPM makes this one here. It's just a really cool piece. It's uh, not expensive. I'll leave a link uh, down below where you can get this, this piece. But if you look at the front of the sledge as it comes out of the box, there's really no protection uh, right there. There's no, no real protection for your uh, suspension arms and even the bottom of uh, your shock mounts. So it's a really quick, quick upgrade. And you got this piece here, that's the tubular bumper, and that bolts on to this plate. There's just two screws that drop down and there's two lock nuts on the bottom. You can see right there. And then there's also those five screws right there, but to take these pieces off right here and to put the new bumper on, take you five minutes. And coming out of the gate, I would say, when you buy the truck, you order the truck, whatever you do, go ahead and order that RPM piece. It's cheap insurance, you're gonna be glad you did. You're gonna protect your suspension arms. You can see how the bumper comes out and that gives some uh, coverage, protection to the suspension arms and also to the bottom of the shocks. It's gonna really keep things from getting in there or when you hit something, it's gonna keep, uh, add some real protection between the bumper and the tire. Uh, from damaging your uh, suspension arm or your shock so that's it guys real quick video just some advice uh recommendation when you're coming out of the gate when you're purchasing a new sledge or if you already have one toss an rpm bumper on there you'd be glad you did thanks for watching guys